looking forward to coming back home. This is this is our home, St. George. We'll be back here again on Saturday. So it's like you've been away from a long time and you're ready to go back home. And it's and, and, I, and the place is just spectacular. I mean, it's a it's been a very difficult rebuilding process, but uh, it's been it's been worth the wait. Well, everything had to be redone. I mean, it, the, the, it had to be uh, it had to, it had to be gutted all the way down the, all the way down to the concrete. So everything is new. Uh, you see the uh, the stained glass windows. Then you see the all the mosaics. You see Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And you see Christ. The dome. That, the mosaics had to be redone. Then we had the corner we call the cornerstone here, where, where we have all, all the mosaics plus the Virgin Mary in, in, in the altar. So all that. Is, uh, is brand new, had to be recreated. Uh, Mr. Finelli, who did the mosaics and the marble pieces, you know, it's uh, almost four years worth of work to get through that process just to do just to do that itself. After the fire, you know, we held services the following week inside, inside our fellowship hall, so we haven't missed a beat. You know, we still stay active uh, in our community. We still, we still with the Habitat Humanity, and we feel that all, all our, uh, uh, charities that we do, we we we, uh, we, we continue to do. You, you not believe the the uh, the help that we have from everybody else. So that impact us uh, dramatically, you know. And just like I told everybody, I mean, this is this uh, this is an adversity. You're gonna face adversity in, in your life at some point in time uh, when you, when you're growing up. But you know, you can't let it get you down. You gotta you gotta you gotta keep the faith, and you gotta continue. Uh, moving forward and I think that's what this community has done and, uh, and, and it wouldn't have been possible without without the help of uh, all, the, all, of, all the churches up and down the street here in Keys Pike and in Knoxville and that's been the, the great people of Knoxville.